Hi, it's Alaska Granny. 2021 continues to bring all kinds of challenges to us, including on the availability of our food supply. What's hyperinflation? It's a term to describe rapid, excessive, and out of control general price increases in an economy. Hyperinflation causes a surge in the prices of basic goods such as food and fuel, and they can become scarce. Hyperinflation can cause food supply shortages. When prices rise excessively, there's a decrease in value of your dollar and your savings can become worthless since your money buys less. We read in the press that shortages and supply chain disruptions came from panic-induced consumer shopping, the toilet paper hoarding, grocery prepping, and clearing out of supermarket shelves. Are preppers the problem, or did they already have their supplies that they gathered little by little? If you look at the cost of prices going up, cheese up 4%, baguette bread 11.4%, olives 6.6%, rosé wine 3.5%, craft beer 2.3%, milk 1.6%, salami 1.3%, coffee 0.8%. And I'm sure if you have shopped for any of these things over the past month, strawberries have increased 27%, blueberries 16%, gas prices are 41% more expensive. The average price is $3.19. I don't know where that average is, but it's much, much higher here in Alaska. It's about $3.69. And it's far higher in many of the states in the lower 48. The price of used cars and trucks jumped 10%, which is the largest increase in 70 years. Then we hear from the president, families who receive food stamps will see the largest benefit increase in history. The Biden administration has approved 25% more food stamps for 42 million beneficiaries. This averages $36 per person, or $1.20 per day more. What does that amount equal? Do you realize that amounts to $50,400,000 more per day that's going to be spent on food? If the government feels that low-income people need 25% more towards their grocery bill, what does that do to the cost of food? And what does it mean for the people who are not getting a 25% increase in their grocery dollars? How can $50 million more per day spent on groceries not affect the current food prices and the availability of the food that's in the store? Those increases take effect the beginning of October so that to me means price hikes are just beginning. The abundance of food that we see on the shelves now could be threatened by the availability of millions and millions of more dollars that are available to spend on food. There is a difference between running out of food and doing without. So stock up on the basics now. Make sure that you have plenty of water and ways to purify your water. Make sure you have plenty of food open and eat food, cans of food, packaged foods, bags of beans and rice. Get your first aid supplies, your over-the-counter extras, and then make sure you have some way to cook. Some kind of a butane stove, a camping stove, and the fuel that goes with it. Winter's coming, you might even consider getting a portable heater. There's so many things that everyone needs on a daily basis. As I stated in another video, God provides for the birds, but he doesn't throw it in the nest. You have to do the work. Stock up on the foods that you know you enjoy and you want to make sure that you have in the future. Being a prepper is just sensible. It's lifestyle insurance. We're making sure that we can provide the meals for our family, no matter what the future brings. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.